Hey Leo, this is going to be your bonus love reading for the end of April into May. I hope you guys have been getting through April okay. There has been some uh, tough energy. We have the new moon in Aries recently. So I hope you guys set your new intentions. We have the full moon in Scorpio. That's at the end of April. And Uranus moving into Taurus in May. So definitely a lot of changes. Transformations. So also, I started a Facebook page, Awaken Soul Tarot. It's going to be in the description box. So you guys can check that out and follow me. It's all about motivational quotes, things to get you guys through your day. And I'll be doing daily card pulls at some point soon as well. So what does Leo need to hear? End of April into May. A little bit of tough energy for Leos. All right, Leos. So I need to hear the advice for your love life. End of April into May. Divine guidance, just what you needed to hear. So that's the Hierophant. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. So I think some of you are really going to be going through a period here where you are needing to get some enlightenment. Surround yourself with positive people. Some of you are dealing with some disappointment. Could have been breakups, divorces, doesn't have to be, but just disappointments. Maybe you're just sick and tired of being single. Others of you, you definitely could have been hurt, definitely majorly disappointed. But have patience. You have temperance here. Everything's going to happen in divine timing when it's supposed to. The universe is working behind the scenes on your behalf. But Certain things may have to happen first before others can fall into place. So you may be in a place of gaining perspective, gaining enlightenment, and that's what you're going to need to move forward. You have messages with the Page of Pentacles. So definitely these messages could be about enlightenment, an abundance of enlightenment. It doesn't always have to be money or love, but it could be Definitely messages that you need to hear. Messages for your own growth in order to attract a happy, positive relationship. You're fantasizing with the Seven of Cups. You're thinking about what it is that you want and what can make you happy. But in order to get there, that's the first step. But in order to get there, you may have to have a complete change of attitude, of energy, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, could be involving that sign, but this could also be the energy that you need to take on. So, King of Cups, one foot in the water, one foot on land. That has to do with balance, a balance of emotions. Earthy, loving, emotional. The King of Cups has a good balance between the yin and the yang. So they have that strong feminine and masculine qualities that they can put together in order to have a happy, fulfilling relationship. 
Some of you are a little bit stuck and struggling right now with that when it comes to the emotional aspect. Clarify the Three of Swords for Leo. Seven of Cups again. So you're really overthinking things. Some of you could have options. Others of you are just really thinking about your past hurts. You have the devil here. So yeah, it definitely can be just mental ties to things. Things that just aren't serving you. Situations that didn't serve you. But if it's in the past, just learn from it and grow from it. You have temperance here working on your behalf. You have divine guidance with the Hierophant here. What's the Page of Pentacles all about for Leo? So you have the Ace of Cups. Definitely messages about happiness and emotions. It may just need to be what you need to hear to give you that extra motivation to move forward. But the Ace of Cups is overflowing happiness. So you have a possibility for that. But some of you have to release some of the things from the past that weren't serving you. And some of that could just be your thoughts. Again, especially with the Eight of Swords, because the Eight of Swords really is mental restriction. So some of you are just restricting yourself mentally. And you can move forward. It's just moving past that mental restriction. Clarify the Seven of Cups. So you have the Eight of Cups. So moving forward, you have the King of Cups after the Eight of Cups, but first you have to leave behind what isn't serving you, what emotionally isn't serving you, who isn't serving you. So again, King of Cups after Eight of Cups, that is about emotional fulfillment and happiness, but it's about releasing this mental restriction with the Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Leo. You can have victory over that. But again, the Six of Wands, that's about triumph through trials. So you've been facing some tough times in the past, but you're going to get through that. The Emperor taking control. Aries. So for those involved with another fire sign. But the Aries is strong. The Emperor, not the Aries. Although it is Aries, but yes. The Emperor, he's strong, he's structured, he's very stable, he's a fatherly figure, so he's been through a lot, he's very smart, he knows how to handle things, and that's you, especially with the Six of Wands. You've been through a lot, Leo, but all that happened for a reason. Everything, that dark period that you've been through, that was all for your highest good, because that was to teach you love, teach you compassion, teach you happiness, teach you what it is that you need to, to know, life lessons. So some of you are going through a series of life le lessons, and yeah, they may seem difficult with the devil, but that's all past energy. So those restrictions and things, those are going to be ending for you. And that's going to open a doorway for you to have happiness that, that you want and desire. What does Leo need to hear? reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life for some of you maybe you had to go in opposite directions and leave someone behind so you both could gain insight and guidance and clarity soulmate yes this is your soulmate so for some of you yeah there's an unbreakable bond here but again, some of you may have had to walk down a different path and then you're meeting up again. For others of you, somebody new coming in. So whatever trials you've been through, Leo, just know that those things did happen for a reason and it gave you strength, emotional strength, but also maybe more compassion. So I hope you guys have a good end of April into May and stay tuned for your May monthlies that'll be coming out shortly. Take care, Leo.